Channel. Welcome back to the channel, whichever you see today, and welcome to, welcome back to the ultimate Everglow ranking. Welcome from beginning to most recent, and there fish to some feast on my song, get my thoughts, and put into a list most sure to least favourite, which you can find in, find in the pinned comment section below, the story so far. Uh, so this is brought to you by uh, K-pop in Utah, guys, so big love to K-pop in Utah for making this series happen. Right. I know this song. Uh, so as I've said, guys, with the Everglow ranking, uh, I'd, I'd pretty much heard all the title tracks at this point. It's just the B-sides I'd not heard. I'd heard one, which is very close uh, to being on the way. Um, and that was it. Uh, but last year, when you know when I started this, there was a song recommended very early on. Uh, two songs from Everglow. One being La Dida, and the other being First. And um, I checked them both out. Uh, Without getting into it, I used to have a reaction channel with someone else. Uh, he wanted to uh, remove himself from all the videos, so he wanted all the videos he was in taken down. Um, so this will be my third video that I've done on La Dida at this stage, uh, but it's going to be the last time I do a video on it because, of course, it's the ranking series. So it's funny that when those videos got taken down, People learned about my taste in like synth 80s and all that. And I was like, um, people constantly were like, oh, why have you not checked out La Di Da? Obviously, I just told you why. And then uh, that should give you an idea of how much this song is my sound. Let's rank it. But at this stage, you may know where it's gonna go, let's just say. Uh, but anyway, this is La Di Da. Also, there will be simping because the visuals of this damn music video. Video, oh, something else. Oh, that's 
break. Oh my god. Love the blue hair on the end, by the way. I have something to say about that. So after the video, wow, how is she on? I mean, this is probably one of the most academic rankings I've ever done, guys, as far as one, where one song goes, because come on now, come on. Um, it would have been very interesting if I just never heard this song and did the ranking series. Because um, it would have blown my mind, it, blew my, it still blows my mind, but like obviously I've heard it over a hundred times at this stage, I would say. Um, because it's a gym playlist song for me, if it comes on in the car, I don't skip it. Um, it doesn't matter the mood I'm in, this is a non-skip song. Uh, go straight into the top spot, guys. Uh, no disrespect, of course, to any of the other songs that have been, but this is another level for me. Um, I'm curious how people who are not as into synth music, 80s music, retro music as I am, feel about a song like this, if they still just see it as an absolute banger. Um, I'm sure they do, because again, the, the beats, the rhythm, the amazing vocal melodies on the chorus, and vocal melodies in general, the dance break, um, the song drips with atmosphere. It's, an, it's a hype song. Um, it's honestly, it's one of, the, one of the catchiest choruses I've heard on this channel so far, I would say, and it's filled with synth. Like, how am I not going to put that in the top? Do you know what I mean? How am I not going to put that in the top? But yeah, I... I I'll be honest, I've heard this song over a hundred times at this point. Um, I knew where it was going before, obviously, this video started. There's only one song, title track-wise, there's one title track that always gives me a headache against La Di Da. Because La Di Da made my top 50 uh, year one, guys. Top 50 year one for me, by the way, is a series I do. It's all on Patreon, where I somehow get all the songs I listened to last year in the first year I was on YouTube. Um, down to 50 um, out of like 800 plus and um, I gave myself a rule of having up to a maximum of up to two um, songs from an artist group or band so I picked two songs for Everglow and those two songs are La Di Da and I won't spoil what the other one is if you don't know um, but if you want to check that series out you, you don't have to be a paid member on my Patreon you can check it out for free um, but those two songs are literally one entry away from each other because that's it switches as much as i love this believe it or not there's a song that gives me a massive headache as far as like switching places with this depending on mood um now that's just the title tracks of course there's a lot of songs b-side wise i've not heard yet which may there may be something amongst those that somehow tops this i don't know don't know if that's going to happen personally because it's just like you talk about a synth pop song sung beautifully, the great rap verses, Aisha's an event. Seriously though guys, I remember that, I remember the first time I saw that music video. I think first was the first video, no pun intended, I saw from them. Um, and I was immediately like, who is that? Um, cause they're all gorgeous, don't get me wrong. Um, and obviously seeing them talking, well, seeing them and briefly talking to them in person. I, I can attest they are absolutely all all gorgeous. Um, but I saw Aisha and I was just like, who is that? And the next video um, I checked out was La Di Da. And the vent moment happened and I was like, who is this? It's strikingly beautiful. And that vent moment is iconic. Uh, I don't know how many times I've used that GIF on, on our Discord server, in our Discord community, but I use it a lot just to be reminded of the Aisha event moment. But anyway, so to make this a bit fresh, guys, because of course I know it may not be the most interesting episode in the way that I have checked this out before, uh, there's something I haven't checked out linked to this song, and that is the 
MV choreography, otherwise known as probably the performance video. Uh, just seeing the choreography in full and everything like that. I've not seen this. Look into the thumbnail. It's them um, in the, the black leather outfits. So I've not seen this before. Of course, can I hear the song again? I'm not complaining. I'd be happy to hear the song 300 more times. Um, but this should be cool. So this is going to be checking out. The MV, and it's such a gorgeous MV too. The stuff that's done in camera as well as, of course, the Sin City um, CGI that's done too. So anyway, let's check out the performance video, really. Dance video. Wow, look at that set. That's an amazing set. Definitely a record on the stage. Wow. This could have been an MV in itself. Striking in person too, strikingly beautiful. They're all gorgeous, like I said, but I love how much power Sonda has here too. Such a good pre-chorus transition drop. Everglow, I would say, definitely have some of my favorite choreography in girl groups. Seriously, this could have been the MV. This could have been the MV. Oh! Again, sets in camera. Wow, Wait, the camera shots, everything? Cinematography? So that's why I'm on the bend, isn't it? Oh, I've seen this live, by the way. I don't know why I'm so shocked. I've actually seen this in person live, but I've seen it proper, you know, camera, camera wise and everything. So catchy. So damn catchy. Disco concept. Guitar. Yeah, this is number one, guys. Come on. There's a reason this song is the intro of the series. Right. Oh. I remember this song. I didn't talk about it this time. You probably know what I'm going to say. I need to remind myself to remember the time to mention about that. This series could have been the MV. Without all the Sin City, Sin City stuff, this could have still been the MV. Like the shots and everything. Amazing. Ama I'm amazed. That, like, that could have been the MV. Seriously, I, I get why they called it MV choreography, to be honest, because it's not really... It, dance videos can, of course, be the dance sections that they use to put into the MV to show the choreography off and everything like that, you know, which they just take from those dance videos and everything like that, which is the case here too. But the way it's shot, the way it's lit, the way that there's actual effects on it too, I can, I can see why this is called MV choreography and not just dance video, uh, for example. Now, before I forget, uh, there's one nitpick I have with this song. It's a tiny nitpick, but it is a nitpick. Mia, when she does the amazing belt, they cut it off. I don't know why they cut it off. Let her go. Let her go. Like, it, it feels, 
first off, she could definitely do it anyway, as far as going on a bit longer. But they also just cut it dead. They cut her note dead. Um, and naturally, as the as the listener, I always think this. Like I always forget when I listen to the song uh, when I haven't heard it in a while, and I go, oh, oh. you know, every time because I'm like, they cut her, sh they cut her short. That they cut that belt short. That belt should have carried on going for a few more seconds and end naturally rather than just be whoosh, cut. That's the only nitpick I have for that song, and it is a nitpick because I still think the song's bloody amazing. Um, but that's the only thing. That's the only thing that I would be like saying to the producers, why do you why did you uh why do you cut her off like that? Why don't you just let her go on a little bit more and finish naturally? And again, I'm no I'm no expert, but like just as a listener, organically I think you listen to that song for the first time. You go, Oh my god, she's doing the belt Oh oh Wait what? Do you know what I mean? But anyway, nitpick. But awesome dance video guys, M V choreography I should say. Um hope you enjoyed the video. Again, this is probably one of the most academic, obvious rankings that I've done in any series so far. Besides one being one of my favourite songs of all time and my favourite song on the channel. Um, and yeah, let me know what goes in your own personal rankings. You may not think that. You, this, may, this song may not be for you at all. Um, let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe because plenty of Everglow on the channel already in the Everglow Reactions playlist. Plenty more on the way. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, please take care. Much love.